who doesn't want to get a job in Google? And Google has been secretly throwing challenges at you from the last five years. More of as a secret process for hiring developers and software engineers all over the world. This is known as Google FUBA. This page is not accessible for all and it depends really on your search history and if Google finds it relevant to their programming skills, they do hit you up with the challenge. And the message reads like this. You are speaking our language, up for a challenge? Although some people have reported to find hidden challenge links or hidden links in the HTML source code of Google websites. And that's really interesting if you haven't checked out the inspect element or the source code of any Google website, do check it out. Today, I am going to tell you how to hack Foobar. Although no one can hack Google, but they can certainly force Google to give you up that challenge. How's that for the? I'll show you the whole process and at the end you'll have that challenge in your hand and ready to get a job in Google. So let's get started. But wait a second. If you have not subscribed to this channel, do click that subscribe button and the notification bell icon. And also like this video if you like the challenge and like the hack. And if you do get the Fuba challenge, do not forget to comment below and like this video. And now we can start. Just yesterday while scrolling the LinkedIn, I can see a lot of Fuba challenges, screenshots and everything. And that really bugged me. If Google is giving everyone the opportunity or is there a hack that everyone is using? Then I stumbled upon a tweet like this which said open Google Chrome, search for a thing and just refresh from the page to and you'll get the channel. Obviously I tried and it failed. <laughs> but that led me to do a little bit of research and find the perfect hack for this Google Fuba. And today I am going to show that. So let's open Google Chrome and check for ourselves. So I'll type C++ move semantics which was written there and scroll to the second page and as mentioned just refresh it two three four times three and four and it didn't work obviously <laughs> let's refresh it on some more times so somewhere it was mentioned that you can go to the page three and try the same thing And it doesn't seem to work there as well. And after years and years and years of refreshing. And finally, you can see this Google search going up above and down. Let's scroll it up and press the play button. Wow, finally we have got it. Now let's click I want to play. It was pretty easy. Just four hours of practice. <laughs> wow, this looks awesome. Google has a code challenge ready for you. So this is the foobar that you are seeing that's given to everyone for these coveted secret hirings. Let's sign in to save the progress. I don't know what are the commands but I think I am requesting a challenge and I have just 48 hours to solve it. <laughs> That's something new. <laughs> so what were the commands on the starting which I saw? Let's open. So we have to go home. And the command go from red sprint the list. Journal.txt start here, prison labels. Uh, these are the commands cd cat did you see it so let's start i don't know where i'm going but let's find out how to do this challenge first how to find this challenge oh god let me edit these files journal.txt What do I have to edit then? So we have a print command also, let's print these. 
Let's do one. We have seen this message before. Oh, there's a folder for stuff. Oh shit. I didn't realize it. So these are the files solution.java contains the solution that we have to put a solution.py read mean the text constraints. So this is the first quiz or the first challenge. Looks pretty easy, but this is the first challenge only, so I think it would be of basic level only. So I finally completed the first challenge. It was pretty easy, a basic just comparison between two lists, and this is a very cute money which is showing up on screen. I just like this animation a lot. I hope I can add this in my website soon. So basically there are five levels in this. I have heard after level three that you get a call from the right tutor about the next process or the next interview and you can go till level five. Obviously as the challenge proceeds, the difficulty level goes as high as it can to the core courses or the core chef level of ICPC level I hope. I'll try to complete this challenge and let you know what I did and also pose the questions if I can. For that, I have to read the privacy and terms. But since I'm a risk taker, obviously I'll upload it on GitHub. <laughs> so, coming on to the steps that you need to do to get this challenge are basically simple. Just go on any browser, Google Chrome or Firefox. I have tried on Firefox and it works perfectly. Just search for anything related to C++ or Java. You will get this no matter what is the search tag. It does not really need to have C++ move semantics as the search phrase. You can put in anything and just go on to second or third page or even 10th page. Wait for some while. It will show up. And I guarantee that. If you are able to open this challenge using this video, do comment below and share your experience. And also like this video if, if you really like the trick on how to open Google Fuba challenge and get hired to Google. Although this trick cannot solve all the questions, but certainly open the opportunity for you. And I hope this video helps you a lot. And if it helped you, do hit that subscribe button. Smash it. Share this video among your friends and everyone who doesn't know about Google Fubar or doesn't know how to open this challenge. My name is Mon Chawang from Get Sage. I'll meet you in the next video. Till then, stay safe, stay at home, and get sage. Like this video and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss any update from Get Saged.